Okay. Good morning, children. Morning, morning. And Mama. Good morning, Daddy. All right, we're going to read from John chapter 12, just a portion of verse 36. Um, While ye have light, believe in the light. Who is the light? Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is. Amen. So does that mean, I'm sorry, uh, we haven't even begun. Fresh out of the shoot here. Yep. While ye have light, believe in the light. Does that mean that just because you have the light doesn't always mean you believe in the light? Well, let me. While ye have light, believe in the light, that ye may be the children of light. These things spake Jesus and departed and did hide himself from them. So we need to be children of the light, absolutely. Okay, uh, we all have moments when we feel better than our best. And we say, I feel fit for anything. If only I could be like this always. Ever feel like that? Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. We are not, to, we are not meant to be. Those moments are moments of insight, which we have to live up to when we do not feel like it. Sounds right? Mm -hmm. Many of us are no good for this workday world when there is no high hour. We must bring our commonplace life up to the standard level in the high hour. Never allow a feeling which was stirred in you in the high hour to evaporate. So those aha moments that, mm -hmm. you know, that's, you know. Don't put your mental, f don't put your mental feet on the mantelpiece and say, what a marvelous state of mind to be in. Act immediately. Do something, if only because you would rather not do it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Make yourself do it yeah. when you don't feel like doing it. Yep. Yeah. If you do it for no other reason, just because you don't want to. Yep. If in a prayer meeting God has shown you something to do, don't say, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. Do it. Take yourself by the scuff of the neck and shake off your incarnate laziness. Laziness is always seen in cravings for the high hour. We talk about working up to a time on the mount. We have to learn to live in the gray day according to what we saw on the mount. Don't cave in because you have been uh, baffled once. <coughs> Bless you. Get at it again. Burn your bridges behind you and stand committed to God by your own act. Never revise your decisions, but see that you make your decisions in the light of the high hour. But yeah, that's true. We do need to live up to those aha moments. And not just let them go by. You know, and when, when the Lord really showing us something. And, and here's the thing, from, and I'm speaking total from personal experience. If you let one of those moments go by, you are prone to let another mm -hmm. and then another to where it's just habit that even I mean it, it's almost like I don't want to use the term punishment but having aha moments every day simply because I don't, is it a test you know God <laughs> is trying to show you listen mm -hmm. you have revelation after, after revelation moment after moment and yet you do nothing but let it slide by, waiting well, for another day. Yeah, don't just don't say, "I'll do it," but do it. How how many years have we been saying that to our, each other and ourselves? You know, just a sickening amount. Just do it. And I want to quit talking about it. Yeah, and do just it. just do it. What does hinder us? Ourselves. You know, just do the crazy thing. Yeah, you know, how he how he says, you know, burn your bridges. 
and staying committed to the commitment you made to God. Never revise your decisions, but make sure your decision is made in the light. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's stay committed to that. You know, if you ever get to a point where you realize that you you haven't stayed committed, you can revise that commitment. You know, well, God yeah, is waiting for us to yeah. recommit, to come up with a fresh commitment, or maybe not a new commitment, but a, a revived commitment. Mm -hmm. you know, if we're committed to something <clears throat> you know, according to the Word, man, stand fast to it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got to be in light of the light. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the important thing. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> not just something off the, off the cuff or whatever. But yeah. So are we committed today? I'm committed today. Are you committed today? I'm committed today. So, um, just uh, do it. Do you know, it. Let's, according to the word, <clears throat> let's do it. You know, make that decision according to the word and stick to it. So simple. It is. Us smart humans make things difficult, don't we? <laughs> so I, I, I just encourage us to... Mm -hmm. you know, to stand, you know, stand firm on the decisions we've made, and according to the word, and let's let's do them. Okay. Amen. I'm with you. All right. On that note, let's pray. Father, we love and praise you this morning. We thank you so much for your goodness, Lord. And Father, I pray that you would be with us and just help us to to stand firm and you know, to to do the things that we've committed to you, Lord. Help us not to just fall into that that rut, you know, I'll, I'll get to it, you know, we'll, we'll do it sometime. Just help us to be committed to actually do what we say we're going to do, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your patience and guidance. Uh, we just, we love you so much and thank you for your goodness. Lord, we love and we praise you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.